While I was making another copy of the retractable scribe project to fill an Etsy sale, linked below if anyone else is interested, I blew another fuse. At this point, it became apparent that this is something that tends to happen on these lathes and can be pretty inconvenient, so I decided to get rid of them for good. The original fuse is a 10 amp 250 volt fuse. So I found a small 10 amp 250 volt button style circuit breaker that fits in the same hole as the fuse holder and doesn't need replacing when it trips. I've also put a link to the circuit breaker in the description below. Now, I just need to install it. After dramatically cutting one of the wires to recycle it for this project, I just had to make a new connection wire for the other side and crimp on some female connectors. Once it was wired up, it simply tightened through the same hole the original fuse holder came out of. Also, notice how the AC power from the wall comes into the on-off switch and then into the circuit breaker, and it isn't until it passes through the magic smoke in the controller board that it is converted to DC power for the motor. The circuit breaker I'm using is rated correctly for use with AC power, but would likely need a different one if I were to use it on the DC side of the circuit. After a quick reassembly, it's ready to test. I do like the fact that it is much lower profile than the original fuse holder and is nearly flush with the side of the controller box. And it works!
One of my subscribers, Kurt, reached out to me a little while ago and mentioned that the mini lathe he bought years ago came with a steady rest he never used and offered to send it my way in case it would come in handy. I hugely appreciate the thoughtful note and effort it took to send this to me and I'm sure you'll be seeing it in future videos as it fits perfectly on this lathe, so I'd like to give a special thanks to Kurt and a shout out to his channel that I'll link below with some machining videos of his own. That's it for this video. I hope it was useful and please like and subscribe. Thanks.